Morning guys, we are up and at it early today. I have an international work meeting this morning at 7 a.m. So I'm not gonna be able to work out, but that does not mean that I don't need my Fruit Punch Zip Fizz. Oh yeah. Two thousand years later. I need this pick me up this morning. Let's do it. Oh nope, I didn't even I didn't even get it. Oh my god. Okay. All right, guys. In three, two, one. Good morning. Come on, you guys. Maddie. Maddie. Morning, Milton. Back up. What are y'all doing? Already back down. Okay, got it. Bubby. Milton. Good boy, Milton. Good boy. Okay, guys, like. I gave myself a zero for productivity so far today. I did have my early meeting, but like other than that, it's been pretty bad. But I'm hoping that like lunch will turn it around and I'm like, you know what? I've eaten, now I need to focus. You guys, I swear, I, if I haven't told you before, I am team little plate because the smaller the plate, the larger your meal looks. Like the eggs literally cover half this plate. Like. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's also four eggs, you know? So there are a good amount of eggs there, but like, this is a lot of food and I am very excited to eat it. And then I have my partially drunk Powerade Zero. I drink water in the same thing that I drink my Zip Fizz in, so I've had two of those today. So I'm feeling good. I'm gonna go eat this and then I swear guys, you heard it first, like I'm going to get back to work. <laughs> If you're not working right now, get to work, okay? You're watching me, aren't you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're gonna get back to work right after this, okay? Okay? All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay guys, as what tends to happen when you decide to get in the zone, like you completely forget to eat. And like, I didn't have my Bulletproof coffee. I didn't even have my fat bombs. So like I skipped directly to dinner I have that pork that I microwaved. I have a tablespoon of barbecue sauce, an ounce of pickles, and then I have that Kali rice that I made yesterday. It tastes so good. Like, it comes out to about one tablespoon of butter, a half tablespoon of sour cream, and a half tablespoon of heavy whipping cream per serving. And it just tastes delicious. It tastes like butter and sour cream. Like, it's so good. And then you can see I put chives on top. Once again, the barbecue sauce that I use is the G Hughes original barbecue sauce and the bread and butter, sugar-free bread and butter pickle chips. I'm gonna eat these. I probably will have my keto fat bombs for uh, dessert or after this. In addition to my jello, I mean, I've already planned to eat the food. So just because the time period has passed doesn't mean that like, I still can't have it. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna enjoy that. So I'm gonna take a bite of the Kali rice. Mmm. Like, I can't tell if this is just really good tasting cauliflower or if this doesn't taste like cauliflower anymore. Like, it just tastes like just butter and cream. Like, oh my God, that is so good. So now I'm just finna eat all this meat. Okay guys, that dinner was amazing. And for dessert, I got my Jello and I got my ice drink. 
And I'm not even gonna have the pepperoni snack. Like, you know, that's how it is sometimes. Some days you're ravenously hungry. Some days you're like, meh, I don't really even want anything else. So <laughs> that's where I am today. But that does not mean that I'm not gonna have my fat bombs. Uh, you guys, my portioning skills aren't what they used to be. So it looks like I can have about three of these a day. And then on the last day, it's just gonna be two. So I used half the amount of heavy whipping cream this time than I did last time. Last week I used six tablespoons, which comes out to about a tablespoon per serving. This time I used three tablespoons, which comes out to about a half. So let's see how this is. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is just about perfect. I might even go two tablespoons, one tablespoon, like much less chewy than last week, which is what I really like, but I could even go a touch more crumbly. I think this is just a regular flavor keto brick. Definitely getting the coffee, definitely getting the cacao nibs. And I did add a few drops of this Sucre Drop sweetener when I was mixing them as well. So they're a little sweeter than they would be on their own. But overall, they taste great. All right, that's gonna wrap it up today for me, guys. Like, today was super boring, but it was super awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.